As you can see here, we managed to add a new column with all the actions that I asked it to with AI and MCP. Hey guys, AI wizard here. Today we are going to configure MCP server for Excel. We are going to use Cloud Desktop and basically use AI to analyze our Excel sheets and write the data into it. So here I have the guide for Excel MCP server. The link will be under the description of this video. And here, as you can see, it tells us the features of this MCP server, read text, write text, and all of this stuff. It can support different formats of your Excel sheets. And here we have installation guide. So as we already know, we are going to press command space to launch the command line and we are going to type terminal to open our terminal because we will need to paste some commands here. So if you already followed our previous guide, I would assume you would have Node.js installed because you would need to have Node.js installed in order to proceed with this guide. And the video for the initial guide where we set up Node.js will show somewhere in the video here. So here we are going to copy this command. So it's saying installing via Smithery. So it's basically a tool to help you to install all these MCP servers. So we're just going to copy paste this command and then paste it to the terminal and press enter. So this will start to do some things. It will ask me the confirmation. So it asked me to restart the cloud app, sure. And once we do that, we have the cloud and everything set up. So just in case, um, I would suggest you to actually close it first. We're going to close it. We're going to fully close it. And what we're going to do, we are going to double check if our configuration is correct. So we're going to relaunch cloud AI. So here I'm going to close my terminal now, press command space, launch cloud app again. This will take a moment. All right, so now we're just going to confirm whether we have the MCP server installed correctly. We're going to click on this icon here. So this will show all the MCP tools available. I have a bunch of tools installed here, so you'll see a lot of things. However, all I want to do is to verify whether Excel MCP server is installed correctly. I'm going to scroll a little bit down and check if I have any Excel MCP server functions. So I can see here that I do have something from Excel MCP server. As you can see here, the description says write formulas to the Excel sheet. So at this point, I can already assume that Excel MCP server set up correctly. So I can just ask it to do something. So now in my case, I have this file that's showing all the clients that have overdue balances with me. And what I would like to have here, I want to add a new column saying the action required. So what I want to have is something like action required and for more than 50 days, let's say, I want to send a reminder. So more than 60 days, I want to directly follow up with them. And for some, I don't have any action that I would like to take. So I'm going to ask Claude to perform this for me. So first of all, this file in my case is located on the desktop and this is the file name. So we are going to copy this file name like this, click on rename, highlight the entire thing, copy it, and then we're going to Claude. And then we're going to say, I have an Excel file on my desktop. The name of the file is, and the file name that we copied earlier. So now I'm going to ask it. I want to add a new column, action required, if overdue days are more than say 30, I want to send a reminder for more than 60 days. I want, um, let's say direct follow-up. And no action in other cases. So now I'm going to press enter. So at this point, Claude will start to do a bunch of stuff. And I want to quickly show you something here. So it will ask all these permissions. You can just allow it. 
And the important point that I would like to highlight here is that be careful when you are sharing some very sensitive Excel sheet data. In my case, I have the data already prepared, so I'm not really concerned about the privacy. However, you should be aware that whatever data you are feeding here, Cloud AI, so the company behind Cloud AI and Trophic, is aware of your data. So you need to be careful with compliances and privacy and security concerns that you may have. And if you are interested in a more private way of doing here, you can just head on to myprivatellm.com and sign up to Waitlist. It's an AI app that our team is building for you to handle everything that we're showing privately. So now let's get back to our cloud and simply allow for this chat for this case. So now, as you can see here, we managed to add a new column with all the actions that I asked it to with AI and MCP. And as you can see even here, all the formulas that it's using are all reusable. So if we have more columns added later, we can just drag and drop this field. And that's basically it. If you'd like to watch more guides on AI and MCP, just subscribe to our channel and you can go through all the videos that we are building for you. Thank you everyone. Bye.